Hello, Dave, and welcome to our speak, uh, Uptime Speaker Chats. Uh, I'm really excited to have you here. Uh, just to introduce you to the audience, uh, Dave is a technology evangelist for Percona Corporation, uh, which is a open source database company similar to Ivan. Uh, we work in the same space. And um, I'm really excited to have you here today and to learn a bit more about your talks. You have not one, but two talks at Uptime. Uh, one is a full breakout session and another is a lightning talk. Um, and I would like to learn firstly about what kind of audience you expect at your talks. Who is this talk or those talks are for? Well, usually I aim for folks who are either fairly new to running databases or have been doing it for a while and kind of wondering, do I really know what I'm doing? Uh, not fully imposter syndrome, but they wonder, gee, what am I missing? What is the, the thing that's making me paranoid? You know, what is the thing that's about to sneak up behind me, tap me on the back and say, boo, at the worst possible time? Um, I, I usually like all sorts of audiences. Um, by the way, during my talks, if you have questions, I always love people to give them to me at the time rather than sit there and wait on it. Uh, partially because if you're uh, like me, you, oh, I got to ask this, and you forget about it until you're home or or uh, six weeks later. Or you also see the folks at a show, uh, you can tell they have a question and they're sitting there and they're boiling about it because they want to ask it, they want to ask it, and they miss everything else in the talk that probably would have answered their question. So. Yeah, that's good to know. It's always good to have kind of like interaction with your audience rather than just uh, giving a lecture and then answering uh, the questions. Um, I like that. Um, about your explaining, explain, mm -hmm. which is a great title, by the way, <laughs> um, about your explain, explain talk. Um, what are the kind of key takeaways you would like your audience to have after the talk? Well, the, one of the hardest things to learn when you're trying to learn any new technology um, is how it actually works. Uh, I mean, you learn the basic syntax, you learn to interpret the error messages, which are usually not telling me exactly what's wrong, but they're kind of putting you in the right neighborhood. And then with explain, uh, you get details of what's happening. And the trouble is sometimes those are very explicit and very direct, and they tell you exactly what's going on, but they don't tell you how to go from there to the next step. So what I've been doing with uh, MySQL for many, many years and more recently with Postgres is you show people, okay, this is what it is telling you and this is what it really means. So when you have A, B, and C, this is how you get to D, E, and F. It's um, fairly simple engineering. Uh, a lot of people look at query tuning as kind of a Harry Potterish dark art where you... Uh, you know, need to make some sort of sacrifice to some uh, upset deity. But no, it's fairly simple engineering. And the great thing about modern databases is that they can report what's going on. Um, now, explain gets you probably 85 to 95 percent of the way there. And there's other advanced tricks when you really need to eke out that last little couple percentage points of performance. But explain is one of those tools that um, I won't say it's kind of stuck in the 1970s for display-wise, um, but it's one of those things where it's not exactly easy to interpret unless you kind of have the code, and the code is basically understanding what it's telling you. Mm. That's interesting. Um, and what are the kind of some quick wins that you can get while using this data solution? Well, usually novices are told you don't want to have things like full table scans. Oh my God, that's that's horrible. Well, there are some times when full table scans are appropriate, like you're doing end of the month or end of the year billing, where you have to go through all the customer table. Um, there are other times where you're doing a lookup on a customer order. You don't want to go through all the customers. You just want to pinpoint that one customer. So this is going to show you how to how to pinpoint what you're looking for and how to get what you want. So. Mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll, I'll liken it to a mechanics course where they tell you how to rebuild an engine or uh, like my wife is a knitter and she takes uh, classes from these various uh, knitting professionals to teach her some of the advanced techniques to, to do things so they look better and they present better. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, and I'm sure our audience would, would be keen to learn more uh, at Uptime. 
I'm hoping that's um, why they're buying the tickets to come see us, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so about your lightning talk, um, I'm curious to know a bit more about, without giving too much away uh, before your talk, um, about the uh, Perconos monitoring uh, solution, if you could tell us a little bit, just like a sneak preview to look forward to. Well, it's, it's free, which is something that our audience wants. It's open source, so you can actually go out there and look at the code. Uh, we are looking for contributors, so if you're interested in that, please see me. And it will let you monitor your Postgres, your MySQL, or your Mongo databases and the underlying systems underneath there. Uh, one of the big problems that people have is at any one minute, do you really know what your database is doing? And with PMM, you get a graphical uh, display, uh, a dashboard of an overview, and then you can dig down deeper, uh, see what queries are doing, uh, see how buffer hit rates are going, all that sort of stuff. And it's a, it's a great thing that um, if you're a paranoid SRE or DBA, and you're you know got that gut feeling that something's wrong. You can instantly look over at that display and see what's what's there, and tell you what's how mm. things are working. That's cool, and we'll definitely be sharing some links in the description uh, of this video mm -hmm. um, and the resources um, after the uptime is over. Um, so. What are you personally looking forward to at Uptime? And if you had a chance to look at the program already, are there any particular talks you would like to attend yourself? Um, um, I haven't gone through the program yet. Um, <laughs> it's one of those things where uh, until I, nice. about two weeks out, I don't see what other people are talking about, uh, usually because the really good talks are scheduled against me. Uh, so that's that's another reason. Uh, the, the other thing is, if you're a first time conference attendee for something like this and you have a gap in your schedule, I highly recommend going to a talk that you know absolutely nothing about the subject. Um, it's a great way to, to network and learn more. And sometimes you walk out and go, boy, I, I don't wanna work on that. But other times you find insights into what you're doing now or another way of doing things that might be more efficient. So I, I'm sure um, there are other talks I will be hitting, but right now I'm kind of worried about my own not theirs. <laughs> That's fair enough. And um, if you have any further resources to share, please uh, feel free to do so uh, for your audience to kind of look forward to your talk. Mm -hmm. um, any final words? To no, um, I'm glad that we're going back to in-person conferences because I've made a couple so far this year. And it's nice to have a hallway track to meet people, uh, to be at lunch and hear someone talk about something that you're interested in and be able to ask them questions. Uh, also, as a present presenter, rather rather than just talking to a laptop, by the way, laptops are very boring to talk to, uh, you're actually interacting with people and you uh, you see them and you meet them and you get to, to be with other human beings and network and be a human. That's certainly what we, <laughs> the Uptime team, are hoping for as well. Uh, it's been a long time coming for an in-person event, so that's that's really exciting. Um, and I'm looking forward to your talk and to also meeting you in person in September. Um, good luck. And I, yeah, I hope it goes well. And I'm sure it will. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Yeah. So people watching this, please go buy tickets in spite of me. <laughs> <laughs> they will <laughs> after this. Um, great. So it was great to have you here. And like I said, looking forward to meeting you at Uptime. Mm -hmm. See you in Amsterdam.